Hi everybody, Brendan from c21teaching.com.au here. In today's Flip to Teacher professional learning video, I'm going to show you how to force a copy of a Google Doc that you're trying to share. Now, there are a few reasons why you might want to do this. You might have a document that you want others to have access to, but you want them to have a copy. You want them to be forced to make a copy of that document for whatever reason, so that any changes that you make aren't then uh, publicized for others to access. I want to make it really clear up front that if you are using Google Classroom, this video is not for you. There is a different process uh, when you share a document through Google Classroom to your students that will automatically give each student a copy of a particular document through that process. If you're using Google Classroom, check through the FTPL list and there is a video for that function. If you're not using Google Classroom though, this is what you need to do. Now at the top at the moment, you can see in the URL, it ends in uh, slash edit. That means at the moment that I am in edit view. What I wanna do is I wanna set it to share publicly. So over here in the top right hand corner, I click on the share button and you can see at the moment it's private and only I have access to it. If I click on that share button, I then get this share with others option. I wanna click on advanced, I wanna click on the change button here and I want to set it to whichever one is relevant for you, public on the web or just with the link, and then the access level. So the access level is what they can do with it, whether they can edit it, comment, or view. You want to leave it as view only because you don't necessarily want people editing your documents uh, or commenting on the documents, but you can make a choice there if you do want to do that. I then hit save. That's now saved that particular document. And what I want to do now is this link up the top here, I want to right click, and choose copy. In your browser, open up a new tab and paste that link, but don't hit enter just yet. Now, at the end here, you can see that we've got the edit question mark USP equals sharing. What you want to do here is delete that and you want to change where it says edit, change it to say copy instead. What you want to do then is highlight all of that, right click copy, and then paste that into your email, your Edmodo, whatever it is that you're using to share that particular document. Paste it in there. When I hit enter, rather than just giving me a viewing access of a copy, it forces me to sign in to make a copy of that particular document myself. Here we go, copy document, would you like to make a copy? Click on the make a copy button. It will then give you a copy of that document, and I know it's a copy because it says up here, copy of, the, video, the uh, title of the document. I can see now that I now have edit access here because it says edit and that now sits in my Google Drive folder. So that's how you force a copy of a document to be made rather than just giving people open access to view a particular document. Whether you use this function is obviously going to depend on the document itself and what it is, what you want people to get out of it, but that's how you do that process. And again, I just want to make it really clear, if you're using Google Classroom, there is a specific function for um, creating student copies of a particular document, such as an assignment outline, uh, and there is a separate video for that. This is not the process to go through if you're using Google Classroom. And don't forget, for more helpful Flips Teacher Professional Learning videos, head to c21teaching.com.au. See you next time.